Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How you doing today? I want to share something with you. This right here, this box, this, I don't know if it's a junkyard or what. I really don't know what really is in this. I took a peek, but this was kind of a gift from Andy. He just gave this to me for all the uh, help I gave him and work I did at the store to help him out with that big uh, collection that he got and the stash and helping him figure things out and kind of teaching him a few things and and he he uh we had a really good time but this was like a really cool thing that he did for me i appreciate that and he didn't have to i didn't uh, i didn't go down there and do that for any type of gain in any way except for the fact it was very cool what an opportunity for me to make some really incredible videos for to you know to bring to all of you but I, I didn't expect it, and he just said, here, take this, this is all yours, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm not going to worry about this stuff. So let's, so let's take a look at it together, that was pretty cool. I'm popping it open. And I, I, I actually got this, I think, a... Uh, when I picked up my stash, which you remember looking in those boxes, but what I bought from him, that uh, he gave this to me that day. So it's been a little, a little bit over a week, I think, and it's just been sitting off the side. I hadn't looked. I wanted to make a video, so let's take a look in here. What we have, so I have no idea, really. It's just stuff. So let me fold this back. It get that like that. All right. All right. So looking in here. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff stuff I remember seeing. I don't know what what is that? It's a Mercedes, just a body. That's pretty cool. I'll probably you know, you never know. I, don't, I might find other pieces for this, but uh, I don't know what I could do with that. You never know. What else I'll find in here? Here's a cool, interesting bag, because there is a 74 Camaro body in there. Um yeah, you know what? Ooh, I could really use that body. There's another Camaro body in there. There's got t-tops on it but that's a 75 or 76 looks like just some Camaro parts there's a monogram Camaro but uh, and just eh, I could probably find some useful stuff in there that I need uh, there's another one of those dashboards I talked about that I like that's cool that's probably from that 74 so that's very useful I like that body a lot too I will have some use for that. That's pretty cool. Um, ooh, I don't know what this is. Some little Ford. That's one of them. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. That's one of them Johan old uh, Johan Smile promos. Just kind of a beat up, busted up one. I wonder what's in here. Let's look. Oh, cool. A little Mustang. Looks like a. An old AMT. I don't think that's the monogram. Might be the monogram. I'll have to compare it. Oh, I if the, I hope this is the monogram one. I have a complete monogram kit that I destroyed the body trying to make flares. I actually need this. But check out this hood. This is kind of strange. I hope that's a monogram body. You can say down in the comments what you think it is. I've never seen a hood like that with the old teardrop hood. Somebody cut it, or it was cut. Might have had lines in there, so this might be an old MPC or something. I'm thinking it is. I don't think it's the monogram body. That's that. I like those Mustangs. That could be interesting. What do we got here? This is heavy. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at this! Holy cow! That thing looks kind of retro. It's a paint shaker. How cool is that? Got to put some batteries in this and try that sucker out. And shake some paint. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Andy. I like how retro that is. That thing totally looks like it's from the 70s, doesn't it? Totally. Totally looks 70s. I like that look. All right, and there's, I don't know, some... That looks like the old... Ah, that's the old Barracuda... Um, the USAC Super Stockers that MPC did years ago, and that's the Barracuda. I actually have one of those bodies, but uh, I'll take another one. 
I like those super stockers and that's just a little they never redid this Barracuda let's take a look at it they only did the Monte Carlo and the GTO and was there another one I can't remember but they never did the Barracuda or brought back the Barracuda probably because the body got used for something else but uh, that's just an old stock car body I mean that it the kit came with the wheels hogged out like that and this opening here for the exhaust you can see that so I will probably one day build something out of that it looks like all the parts are in there I don't know if I'd bother with the chassis I've got plenty of these kits to use a donor chassis heck a I got the yeah I think I got everything that has to go with the body in there so that's cool and that chassis could actually be useful I could probably just paint over it if, if all the parts are there to put the suspension back together just to build a shelf kit too who knows eh, from that 66 galaxy that I bought the red one I got a couple of them that's a hood I don't really like these teardrop hoods they don't up I usually give these to my buds when they need them and here is I don't know what do we got here there's some oh, we'll look at that in a minute it's just remnants of, uh, of a kit there's something here. This looks like resin, actually. I don't know. We got some weird resin pieces in here. Bizarre tires. I have no idea what's going on here. Any of you? Looks like those Holman and Moody type wheels. There's just one in there. There's a couple in there. I have no idea what's up with those tires. Those are just bizarre. And we got some sort of, let's see if I can ID it. Whoops, I dropped that. Uh, it looks like some sort of galaxy. It's a resin casted interior tub. But, uh, I don't know, looks like an old Ford. <laughs> this is just fun going through a bunch of junk like this. And it looks like one of them old modifieds, just the, some of the parts. I actually have this kit. So. I, don't want, I can't flip it around, everything will dump out, but there's just some pieces and parts, roll cage, might be some useful stuff in there, I'll probably just go through and put it in the parts bins where they belong. Oh, another Camaro. Oh, a cool Camaro. Yeah, I could use that hood, I like those flat hoods, there's one of them flat hoods I need for my, all my 78, 79, 80, 81 Z28s, so that's about what this is good for, this looks like that, uh, that one Camaro kit that uh, kind of is obsolete after AMT came out back in 2000. They're really, really great 70 and a half Camaro. Kind of made this one obsolete. But, you know, there's always good good parts. It can give itself up for other models. What's this? Looks like an old Johan. Oh, right on. It's like a 63 Dodge. I'm not really good with early 60s cars, some of them. If I'm not into them, yeah, it's a Chrysler. I thought so. So, actually, if I find the rest of the parts, this, this is quite restorable. That would be fun to just kind of get it kind of up and running and put it up on the shelf. Or maybe it might go back to Andy's museum. I restore a lot of kits. I'm going to be putting them in the Andy's museum. I have no idea what this is. That is bizarre. Look at all the crate. Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is, this is a part of that. That Mercedes. Heck yeah. There we go. I think that's for that Mercedes. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's for that Mercedes. Coolness. Eh. Who knows what, what I could do with that. Here we go with some old yellow couple sheets of uh, paper towels. I was needing that. We were out of paper towels up until today. I could have used this yesterday. Jeez. Here is a... Trans Am. Looks like a 79 or 80 Trans Am. It's all cellophaned up. Everything but the wheels and tires. Everything else is there. Ten bucks. Bunch of bag built up. Oh, I know what this is. I think this is, is this is this another one of them uh, monogram bosses? I think so. Just the monogram. 70. Yeah. So what do we got? We got just a flat. Oh, I could use that hood. I could use this body. 
Uh, yeah, that's what that is. Cool, missing parts, but you know that hood's that hood's useful. Needs to be heavily stripped. Look at that. Or not. Oh, cool. 64 Galaxy with no hood. I'm sure the hood's in there. Rat it out, 64 Galaxy. Right on. I can resurrect that and build a cool, uh, cool bourbon runner. Man, make a moonshiner out of that. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like those. But I really like what I think this is. Hold, hold the phone. I like the color too. Oh boy. Yeah, it's another 64. Ah, this looks like a candidate right here. I hope I got the. I really hope, really, really hope the hood's in there. Because I saw this earlier on. I hope the hood's in there. I thought I saw the hood. But that, I like that color. I love that color. This is a total candidate for this old model car. I'm going to restore this sucker. Oh boy, this ain't going back in the box. I'm going to set this off aside. I really, really hope, because let's look at that. Look at that. The color, there's just some blemishes. But I might shoot some clear on this sucker, though, really. I would. I just, I love that color. And then we'll do some bare metal foil or Molotow or whatever we feel like. Got a little bit of a suspension problem here. I just, I love that color. In 60s colors. On, on the Fords, the GMs had a color like that. One of my favorite colors. I, I can't resist. I hope the hood's in here. I really, really do. Here's a third gen Camaro. Oh, good. This is a. It's another IROX. Looks like the uh, MPC. You got all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm looking. I want to see if that. What's this? What's this? Oh, 69 Camaro. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. Hey, Big Bob. Big Bob, I'll tell you what, dude. Look what I got here. This is something my friend Big Bob. Remember, he did the Mustang? The, the, the 70, 70, 71 Mustang thing for me. Oh, it's got a little bust right there. Shoot, that sucks that that's broken. He's looking for this hood. Darn it. I don't know if the... You know, I'll look, Bob, and see if the fragment is there and we can fix that hood. If it is, baby, man, I'll tell you what, it's yours. Okay. I have no idea what that is. Something from aeroplanes. Looks like an aeroplane engine. Hey, that's pretty, pretty neat. Boy, I really hope I find that hood. I'm kind of like thinking about that right now, and I want to find that hood. Wrong hood. Jeez. What do we got here? Oh! Monogram 64 GTO. Pretty cool. Built right out of the box. If I got the rest of the parts, I'll just put it together. And just, you know, hey, that's the way a little kid did it. Yes! Buddy! Yes! All right, guys. There it is. I'm putting it right over there with that. That That is... Wait a second. I see something interesting. What do we got here? Oh, I heard about these. Look at the headlights on that. They did uh, something. I think it had headlights that turned on or something. I heard something about this. Please put in the description below if you can un un uh, tell me about this. Because Andy had a, a grill and bumper. Did he? I can't remember. It was discussed because there were open headlights. They weren't cast into it and then chromed. And you can see there's looks like there's headlights in there. Uh, let me know about that. This is freaking cool. Does that other one have it? Yeah, it does. Look at that. Look at the headlights in there. You never saw that. You never saw that. Look at the headlights in there. You never saw that in, in back in these old, uh, you know, screw-on chairs, you know, Craftsman series, I guess they call them. Looks like I got tail lights. One's missing. Maybe I'll find it. I didn't even check. Let's see if the other one has tail lights. Yeah, both the tail lights are missing in that one. But I think they have working, working lights. We might be able to figure something out right there. If I got one tail light, I'll have all tail lights because I have a way. I'll, I'll cast it in red, clear resin. And we just got a bag of miscellaneous parts. Parts are parts, and we always could use parts. You never know what you find in a bag of parts. We got some parts. Kind of nothing. I don't see nothing real exciting in there. Some headers, but nothing. It's like old AMT parts. And we have, remember the red alert? Well, this is pretty much one of the versions. 
the later version, the version that was in the 80s, I recognize the color. This is the, uh, the 72 Chevelle. Nothing spectacular or magical about it. I like those back tires, but there's those I showed in the Red Alert video. Those silly four hole wheels. Why they put those out, who knows. We got ourselves a Firebird. Eh, it looks like the old MPC AMT Firebird. It's got a busted A pillar. Parts in there. There's part that's dipping the wrong tail light there. But we got some more parts. Looks like old AMT 50s cars parts. I recognize some of the stuff in there. Stuff from the 49. But, yeah, different steering wheels, all kinds of stuff. And we got some bunch of stuff that's kind of just hanging around here. More things off that Chevelle. And there's the there's the grill and everything from the Chevelle front grill. And we got over here. We got another another '69 Firebird and parts and pieces and. Oh, what kind of hood this is? Eh, it's the Firebird hood. Alright, so something that happens way too damn much on me is my memory card felt filled up. And I went through everything and I gave my little outro. And quite honestly, I'm a little frustrated. I'm already starting to put stuff back in here. But really all that was left was this kit right here, which is kind of complete. And I went on going how much that kit meant to me. There was a, quite a few of them in the collection. It's really cool that I got it. And thank you very much, Andy, for that kit. Because the 56 Chevy, which I don't like 56 Chevys, I'm, I'm really, you know, cliff noting this right now. Because as you can tell, I'm a little frustrated. There's nothing worse than completing your video. And it just happens so much to me. I never know until I look to shut the camera off and see this little, if you're looking through the viewfinder right here, is a little red light. And it wasn't on. So... This is how we're ending the video, because I just I just can't go through anymore. I'm a little warm, it's warm in here, and I kind of want to end it tonight, so <laughs> this is unconventional how I do it. I'm just a little frustrated, so that's all it was there. That was that. I told a little story, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it a million times, because right up there, you see that? That is the actual version of the kit that I got when I was a kid. It was the first model kit I ever got, and, um, you know... Whatever, I'm, I'm too ticked off to go on with the story. So, I do want to say, what I did say, is this was really cool of Andy doing this for me. Um, you know, at, at the drop of a hat, you know, the guy called me up because he's a tank guy, doesn't know cars. He had this opportunity to get this really big collection, and he was real excited about it, but he needed help. And he asked me if I'd run down there and help him out, and I did. And I didn't, he, he you know... There was never a thing, hey, I'll pay you, hey, I'll give you kits. It was never that. I just wanted to help him with it. And that's why he did this for me, you know, because he, uh, you know, for appreciation. It was really cool. Just, you know, you know, he didn't need to pay me. I just wanted to do it for him. I enjoy it. I, uh, we, you know, he's a friend. I've been friends with him for 16 years. So thanks, Andy. Um, yeah, I'm kind of rambling, talking. I'm irritated. I'm going to pack this thing back up, except I'm going to keep that one Ford out. I want to, I want to. I want to get on that Ford and restore it. That thing looked really cool. That that seafoam green or, or turquoise or whatever it is. I love that color. So that one out of out of this whole kit, Andy, if you're watching this, I saw that built up um, when we got early on when I started going through all the built ups and stuff like that. And to find that in here, that was a real joy. Thank you very much. I really I really wanted that that built up car. I really did. I love the color of it. But we're just putting all this back. That's that's how this video is now ending. Um, I had had it all done my usual way, where I said, "Hey, this is me, Lucas C. Keep gluing your fingers together. Keep cutting that styrene, and uh, you know all that other jazz." You guys hear it every time. I want to thank you guys for watching and support. And I hope you enjoyed this. This was fun. This was a lot of fun, and we've got plenty of paper towel now. Could have used that yesterday. I didn't have any, but. Uh, I'm going to get this all packed up and put away. Thanks a bunch for watching. Here's the producers. My goodness. Wow.